Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com. You can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And this is going to be a quick one. I just wanted to talk to you about updating your persistence.xml and hibernate config XML files for your JPA and hibernate environments. Now here's the deal, and right now I'm looking at a persistence.xml file for your JPA applications. If you're using MySQL 8 or newer, you've got to update the JDBC driver. Everybody that's got an old MySQL system in play is using the generic com.mysql.jdbc.driver. If you move to a newer installation of the MySQL community server, you need to use the CJ driver. If you don't, you're going to get error messages in your logs, warning in your logs at startup. Um, and that may cause runtime problems, but regardless of whether it causes runtime problems or not, it's going to muddy up the logs, and when a problem does come around, you're not going to be sure of whether it has to do with the driver or it's actually a problem somewhere else. So make sure you've done that update. That update also needs to be done in the Hibernate config file if you're using the Hibernate config file. So persistence.xml is for JPA applications if you're still using the, the old hibernate implementation, you're, use, you're not using modern JPA, then you're going to need to update this file as well. Now, also in this file, you'll see that we have the MySQL 8 dialect. A lot of older applications just use the generic MySQL dialect, and that will cause problems querying MySQL 8. So again, make sure that if you're using a hibernate config file for your older applications that are working, make sure you actually make this update if you update the version of your MySQL file. Again, that also has to be done in the persistence.xml file, and I've done it right there. And there's a bunch of different dialects. There's a MySQL 5 dialect, a MySQL 5.5 dialect. So you may have updated to 5, but if you're now going to 8, you, you may not have the dialect updated. So those are the changes that you need to make. So again, there's the persistence.xml file. The property is hibernate.dialect and persistence.xml, but it's a standard Java X for the driver. In hibernate config, we don't have the Java X, but you can see right there, connection.driver class and dialect. And just to prove this out, I've got those files here. That's the same hibernate and persistence file. Everything is saved there. There's a little hibernate crud example. If I say, and I've got hib123 is the password there. If I try and run that, Hopefully that will work. I don't see any error messages in my log. And if I come over here to this player database, I'll see hib123. I've run this a few times, but that's the sixth one. And I've also got one that does JPA as well. I got JPA345 and that create record there. I'll run this. Hopefully I won't get any error messages when this runs. It's actually creating and dropping all the tables, I think, behind the scenes. So let's take a look at that. Yeah dropped all the tables, but there you see JPA345. And so that's how we know that that persistence.xml and that hibernate config file are working because at runtime, it actually persists everything to the database without causing errors. So there you go. Make sure you've updated those files. If you want to learn more, head over to the server side.com and please follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ.